all I need to know is what do they want me to know to pass the test? Because I can read plain English, I can answer A, B, C, or D, but the way the terminology is is um, written out, it's not something that you just look at and be like, oh, okay, oh, yes, B. You know what I mean? They really want you to think about something, but the thing is, I don't know really what they want me to think about. So if they say the weakest or the strongest, I get that. But then based on my opinion and how I live in my life might be different from yours. So you might think this is the weakest for you when this is the weakest for me. So I don't really know what their culture, and when I say culture, I'm talking about a way of doing things. And the way of writing a test, I don't know what their culture um, expects. You know, that's the part where I'm having a problem. I get what you mean. They speak on a whole nother level on the LSAT. It's like a foreign language. I'm thinking of like <laughs> in the movie 2001, they've got the big obelisk and they're trying to interpret what it means. Mm -hmm. And so it's like they're speaking to us in code and we've got to interpret that code like the Rosetta right. Stone, right? You have to break right. it down. And they don't speak to us directly. I mean, if you look at LSAT super prep, when they're trying to explain the LSAT, in a lot of times it's just as confusing, right? I mean, right. the way they talk about it. Exactly. I had a couple of discussions with a guy who used to write L actual LSAT questions. They're on the YouTube channel where we actually have discussions with this guy. And the way he talks, it's like an LSAT question. And so the more time you can spend learning their way of analyzing things. So read right. it. I, I'm, I'm making fun of super prep, but also read it because they're telling you how they think about the test. My discussions with the former LSAT question writer, he's telling us how he thinks about the test. And then you've got nearly a hundred released exams where they're speaking to us in code and we've got to dissect it and analyze it. Right. You don't have to do a hundred of them, but the more that you look at, the more you expose yourself to that, the more you're gonna get a sense of what it is that they're driving at. And you'll see that the topic never matters. The underlying structure is what matters. But over time, you will get a better sense of what those hidden patterns are. You will start to see and recognize oh, see. the patterns. This exam, oh, this so exam is a test of pattern reading. recognition. Exactly. So you just keep reading, you keep looking, and then as things will grab out, you know, come out, right? Exactly. Like just immerse yourself in this. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.